Hi, so today I'm going to be unboxing slash reviewing the Kodak Mini Shot 3 Retro that Kodak sent to me right here. This video is in collaboration with Kodak. I'm very excited. I think I chose the white color. This is everything that's inside. So I believe this is the camera. Ooh. Okay, so here it is, the Kodak Mini Shot 3 Camera Printer Combo Retro. And they also sent me two extra cartridges with 30 sheets each, so a total of 60. I believe this already comes with a cartridge inside, I'm not too sure. So yeah, let's just unbox it. Okay, so this is the Kodak Mini Shot 3 in white. I'll leave the links to all of the products mentioned in the description box below. So this is what the camera looks like. It also came with a user guide in a lot of different languages. And then there was also a warranty card, a USB cable charger, as well as a strap. The back has this LCD viewfinder as well as the control panel. You can attach the straps to the side and carry it around your wrist. To turn it on, just press on the power button. To take a photo, just press on the shutter button. There are also different settings for the camera itself. You can choose to add a border on your photos, take monochrome photos. There are also a lot of different filters that you can choose from. You can also choose to turn off or turn on the flash. You can also take self-timer photos, selfie. There's also a language option with different languages. To change the cartridge, just open this bottom part and then pull the cartridge out. The camera itself already comes with a free 8-pack photo paper. This is the Kodak Instant Print 3-inch by 3-inch cartridge. There's 30 sheets inside each box. Okay, so I really like the design. I think it's really pretty. Um, works well as decor as well, I think. It definitely does have a weight to it, but I don't think it's too heavy to carry around. Okay, so here's just a size comparison with the Kodak M35. Okay, so you can take the photo directly from the camera and print it out straight away. Or you can also connect this to your phone and print out photos from your phone. So I'm just gonna test the camera first. It also has like a selfie mirror, so it's easier if you want to take selfies. Okay, I'm just gonna test it out. I look so bad. <laughs> Okay, here it is. It's definitely not the cutest photo of me. Not the camera's fault, it's my fault. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like if you print it with a border. There's also extra space at the bottom part. Or you if you don't want to, you can just like rip it off pretty easily. Ooh. So then you're left with a 3 inch by 3 inch um, square photo. Okay, so now I'm gonna test out printing out photos from my phone. Um, Okay, so the app is called Kodak Instant Printer. I'm just gonna go ahead and download that. Okay, so I've connected my phone to the camera. This is what the app looks like. You can access your camera, um, your phone camera. And then you can edit like to use border or without border and just print it out straight away. Okay, so let's say I want to print out this photo. You can adjust it in the app itself and edit it. Um, you can like adjust the size. Here you can go to edit. You can make collage. Um, ID photo, that's convenient. Oof. And then you can also adjust the brightness, contrast, saturation if you want. And then there's also fil sorry. There's also filters. Lots of filters actually. And then you can go on templates. There's different frames. Ooh, there's lots of different frames. 
and then there's a birthday one there's a christmas edition one as well maybe for like a birthday card or a christmas card let's try it out Ooh, something like that um and then you can also decorate add stickers that is so cute and then add text hello wow and then um there's also brush wow I just draw that'd be so cute okay so i don't think i want to edit anything onto the photo so i'm just gonna crop it the way i want it to look like and then i'm just gonna hit print Okay, so this is what it looks like without the border. There's also still the bottom white part, but you can easily just rip that off. There you go. It comes off really easily and you just left with a square. Okay, so I think I personally prefer having the border on. And I also really like having the bottom white part as well. So now I'm just gonna go on ahead and print out more photos and I'll show you the results as well as a comparison of like the actual photo and the printed out photo. Okay, so I really like how the photos turned out. The quality is pretty good as well. Can't wait to print out more photos. But yeah, I think that is all. Thank you to Kodak for sending me their products. And thank you for watching.